Hello again. I'm very happy to say that today we have another unboxing video. So, today, this is a package from Nail Reserve, a gel polish company. And they have sent me just a couple of their gel polishes to try out. So, let's take a look. First up is Purple Midnight, which looks like this dark, muted sort of purple colour, like a plum colour. This gel seems quite thick, but that's normally good. It means you'll get nice opaque coverage. This one is called Playground, and it looks white, but it has a bit of an iridescent colour. I don't know how clear that is on camera, but it has a pink sort of shine. So that'll be pretty. I imagine that'll be nice to put over the top of a different colour to give it a nice pearlescent sort of sheen. Then we have this one. This is Pearl River. A sort of dark, tealy blue. Again, that looks really nice. This one is called White Addict. <laughs> and this one is just a plain white colour. Which is good, because often for nail art, I feel like I want white, and I don't have one, so I'm sure this will come in handy. Then next up, Electric Red. Now I picked this one because I wanted just like a really bright classic red, and I'm a little worried now that it looks really kind of like neon. It is very bright. And also it's very like goopy thick, but that's good. So I guess I'll just have to see what it looks like on me. And then last of all, Urban Pink. This one I think might be my favourite. I am after all a pink lover. That's very pretty. So those are my options today. I think I'm not going to do anything crazy. I just want to do a plain colour just to test out what they're like. So I'm thinking this one maybe, Pearl River. I wonder if it would look any good with the iridescent shade at the top. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do this and I'll test that out on one nail to see if it <laughs> matches well. So, let's get this on. So, as you can see, I've already got gel polish on. So first, I'm going to need to take this off. This, actually, I've had on there since seeing the Barbie movie. <laughs> I wonder if you can tell. 
So I'm going to use an electric file for that with a sanding tip just to take off the colour. Under here I have Builder Gel, so I'm going to leave the Builder Gel and just take off the coloured polish. That is all of that pink gel off. And you can see underneath I've still got this builder gel. And normally when I redo my nails I will put an extra layer. I'll just put one more layer of build gel over the top before I put on the colour, but since it hasn't been long since I did that last, I haven't grown out so much, so I'm gonna leave it today. But I will reshape my nails a little bit. So I'm just going to use a regular nail file for that. And I quite like the shape, they still haven't grown out too much. But I'm just going to neaten them up. This nail grows a little bit to the side, which is kind of a pain. It makes it kind of difficult to shape, but I'll do my best. things first. I'm going to be using a UV lamp, so I'm going to put on just a little bit of sunscreen. Since I don't have any um, protective gloves, and this is just going to protect my skin from the UV from that. Trying my best not to get it on my actual nail though. So let's prep the nail. First, I'm going to use this pH bond. This just gets rid of any sort of oils that might be on the surface of the nail. And for me, that's sort of Mostly just for that top part where it's grown out. Now is the time when <laughs> you can see little bits of past nail colours that I didn't completely sand off. Okay. And next is an acid-free primer. Now, 
this just helps that polish bond to the nail. And neither of these two need to cure. They just go straight on and then air dry. Though this primer will leave behind a little bit of a tacky surface. I'm not doing any cuticle prep today, just because I don't mind so much having kind of messy cuticles. <laughs> That's a personal choice, of course, so if you're going for a completely, totally neat manicure, if you have a little more patience than me, then I would advise doing the cuticle care just before this step. Okay, so. We're ready to paint, so let's get out the lamp. Okay, so I've got my UV lamp, nice and covered in paint to match my dirty desk. And the first layer I'm going to need to put on here is a base coat, or sometimes called foundation coat. And this just helps, again, your colour grip to your nail. And you only need a little bit on each one, really. A little goes a long way with gel polish. Just make sure that you cover the whole nail without touching the cuticles. So then, go ahead and cure that for however long the company recommends. And now, we get our colour on. So, try not to get too much on the brush. And then just do the same thing with thin layers. And I don't need to be too neat around the cuticle yet, because I'll fix that all up on the last coat. But if you do get any on there, like this, just wipe that off before you cure. I feel like this colour is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of, um, denim, I guess. This kind of smells like, um, banana flavouring. Like the kind that you get with banana flavoured sweets or, like, medicine for kids. It's quite nice. <laughs> So again, cure that. So that's layer one done. And anywhere that you can feel any sort of gel that's flooded off the side of the nail, you can just file that off before you do the next layer. I feel like this might actually be totally opaque already at two layers, so that's really good. And I'll make this one neat then, if it can be the last. Okay, so once you're happy with that, go ahead and cure it again. I 
Okay, I think this might actually be completely opaque and I don't need a third layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a top coat over the top of this now. I actually decided against putting that iridescent colour over the top of this, just because I really like this shade how it is. So I just want to leave it today, I think. So, that's with my top coat on. The finished hand and I actually really like it. This color is really pretty and I'm just quite impressed that it only took two coats. So let's do the other hand now. So now we can get onto layer one. Layer two. So now we can do that top coat again. And there we have it. So now I want to finish up with this cuticle oil. This one is from Madame Glam, who, if you remember correctly, are uh, the last unboxing I did. And so were the base and top coats I used today, actually. So just put a little tiny drop on each finger and rub that in. And this is good for someone like me who doesn't do much cuticle care because then what I have that I'm not going to get rid of will at least be healthy. And there you have it. I'm a really big fan actually. I think this is a really nice colour and I'm genuinely impressed that it only took two coats and when I was doing a bit of research about Nail Reserve I saw that a lot with a lot of their colours people had said that it only took two but you know, I wanted to see it for myself and it was true so that's really impressive and I'm excited to try out all the other shades that I got but if you are interested in getting anything from Nail Reserve you can use my code, which is just FINA, for 50% off if you get two or more. Which seems like a really good deal because I do think that these are good quality. I didn't notice any sort of um, wrinkling or anything, which is normally a sign of a slightly worse quality one, but none of that. And they are nice and opaque. So, I'm impressed. They're getting a thumbs up from me. And I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about Nail Reserve 2. And I'll see you again next week. Bye. Hey, an enormous thank you as always to all of my patrons that support me, including my mid Aryan cycle tier patrons Max, Cossie Cass, Belly Button, and Owen. I am super grateful for all of you guys for sticking with me. 
Thank you so much, and I hope that you have the most fantastic night's sleep tonight.